Most people know what these are, the Apple AirTag, wildly popular. A lot of you are saying, yes, I know what those are. I bought them about 18 to 24 months ago, and for no reason, they just quit working. Well, the reason they quit working is probably that the battery has gone dead. And all you need to do is buy some of these, the CR2032s. That's not the year that they are expire. That is the battery ID that tells you the 2032 is the battery size. Now, one thing you'll notice about these Duracells is that they have the protective child coating on them. So the child secure. This battery is coated with a uh, covering on the front and back of it that is not compatible with Apple AirTags and some other electronics. So what we need to do is take that coating off of the battery before we install it. If I install it right now into the AirTag, it's not gonna work. For me, we're in an office building. We have a lot of cleaning supplies around here. I'm just using simple vinegar. You probably can use rubbing alcohol as well or some window cleaners. But uh, I have found that the cleaning vinegar here has worked very well. So I am going to rub it on the back side of the battery and the coating is getting a little gel-like and we'll just wipe that off. We're gonna do the same to the front side here, just a little coat. Most important to get the back side and to get nice and dry. So we've removed the covering from the back side of the battery. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the iPod or the uh, AirTag out of its holder. We're going to quickly just turn that counterclockwise. It's gonna reveal the battery, likely a Panasonic. We're gonna drop that out. Now what we're gonna do is place the battery with the writing side up and our new clean surface down. That's where the sensor is that needs to pick up the new battery. And that's a good sign. We're hearing the chirping. That's what you wanna hear. Put the cover back on the battery. You wanna make sure it sits down in there and locks in good. The reason is these are waterproof. Don't know if you know that, they're waterproof to about one meter um, for about 30 minutes. They may or may not survive a trip through the washing machine, but if you drop your keys into a little bit of water, it's not gonna ruin the air tag. We're gonna put this back in here. And now what we're gonna do is check the app. So we're gonna open up the Find My app here on the phone. And what we're gonna notice is that the uh, battery now shows that it is back to working percentage. And the next thing I need to do is swap out the AirTag on my AirPod Pro case. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and share and subscribe. We have a lot more videos on the way and we appreciate your patronage of our channel. Thank you.